Hello and Assalamualaikum. Today we will present to you one of the medical condition which is osteoarthritis. There are many forms of arthritis. One of the most common form of arthritis is osteoarthritis that related with degenerative joint disease. Some people call it as wear and tear arthritis. Osteoarthritis commonly affects joints in your hands, knees, hips, and spine. With osteoarthritis, it is characterized by the progressive loss of articular cartilage or have a change in their structure. So, what is articular cartilage? It is the smooth white tissue that cover the end of bones where they come together to form joints. Healthy cartilage in our joints makes it easier to move. Hence, when the articular cartilage damage, it will not heal on its own. And over time, the cartilage breaks down and the underlying bone will react. Next, we will go for the prevalence and incidence. The prevalence of knee osteoarthritis in Malaysia was estimated to be 10% to 20% of the elderly population. A study shows that 1 in 3 Malaysians over the age of 55 has pain from osteoarthritis. And prevalence of osteoarthritis is increasing globally over the year. As for the etiology, the first one is aging. The risk of developing osteoarthritis is increasing with the age. The second one is being overweight or obese. This is because excess body weight places additional stress on your joint, especially your knees, hips, and back. The third one is joint injury or overuse. Injury or overuse such as knee bending and repetitive stress on a joint can damage a joint and increase the risk of osteoarthritis in that joint. Repetitive strain in your joints can cause the cartilage to wear down prematurely. People who perform certain activities in their jobs for hours at a time may be more likely to develop joint pain and stiffness. And the last one is family history of osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis tend to run in the family, especially if you have genetic joint defects. Next, we will go for the clinical features of the condition. The first one is pain. Affected joint might hurt during or after the movement. Second one is stiffness. Joint stiffness might be most noticeable upon awakening or after being inactive. Next is tenderness. Tenderness is pain or discomfort when an affected area is touched. So, your joint might feel tender when you apply light pressure to or near it. The next one is loss of flexibility. You might not be able to move your joint through its full range of motion. And the last one is swelling. This might be caused by soft tissue inflammation around the joint. The pathogenesis of osteoarthritis involves a degradation of cartilage and remodeling of bone due to an active response of chondrocytes in the articular cartilage and the inflammatory cells in the surrounding tissues. The chondrocyte is a group of cells in the articular cartilage. When there are injury or damage to the cartilage, it will lead to active response of chondrocytes and releasing enzyme that will break down the protein in the chondrocytes, which is collagen and proteoglycans that will destroy the articular cartilage. The exposure of the underlying subchondral bone results in sclerosis, followed by reactive remodeling changes that lead to the formation of osteophytes or bone spurs and subchondral bone cysts. And then, the joint space is progressively lost over time. Alongside these changes to the cartilage, there may be inflammation of the joint synovium. These changes can occur gradually and people may slowly start to experience symptoms of osteoarthritis, such as pain, stiffness, and limited range of motion. As for the medication, it has two types, conservative and surgical. As for the conservative, patient suggests to lose their weight. The second one is medication. Medication help relieve osteoarthritis symptom and primary pain. There are three types of medication. The first one is acetaminophen. It can help reduce mild to moderate pain. The second one is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. The last one is dilocetine. It's normally used as an antidepressant. This medication is also provided to treat chronic pain including osteoarthritis pain. As for therapies, we have three therapies. First is physical therapies. A physical therapist can show you exercise strength the muscle around the joint. It increases your flexibility and reduces pain. The second one is occupational therapy. Occupational therapy can help you 
This can work way to do daily tasks without putting extra stress on your already painful joint. Last therapy is the EMS. This uses a low voltage electrical currents to reduce pain. This provides short term relief for some people with knee and hip arthritis. For the injection, this one is cortisone injection. Uh, injection of corticosterone into your joint may relieve pain for a few weeks. The doctor will mark the area around the joint, then place a needle into the space within your joint and inject it medication. The number of cortisone injection can be received each year is generally limited to 3 or 4 because the medication can worse damage joint over the time. The second one is medication injection. Injection of hyaluronic acid may relieve pain by providing some cushioning in the knee. It is because hyaluronic acid is similar to a component normally found in joint fluid. As for the surgical, the first one is joint replacement. In the joint replacement surgery, the surgeon will remove damaged joint surface and place them with plastic or metal. Next is arthroscopic surgery. In this surgical, the loose cartilage was removed to repair the cartilage tears and smoothing bone surface. The last one is corrective osteotomy. It is a surgery that cuts bone to restore more normal alignment. The last one is impairment and functional limitation. Patients with osteoarthritis usually have pain and infirmity, poor muscle strength, joint stiffness and limitation of range of motion, and low endurance. They usually have limitation in self-care like showering, rooming, mobility, IADL activity like cooking and laundry, and also have problem with the leisure activity. Other than that, they also have been a hard time in participation in family relation, social participation and recreation. That's all from us. Thank you.